Hey Luke, on today's Plumbing 101 tip, we want to talk about sump crocks and sump pumps and what a homeowner needs to be aware of. Yes, here we have the sump pit. This is our discharge pipe from the pump down in the pit. How this works here is we have a drain tile around the perimeter of the building on the footing that collects the clear water, storm water. When it rains outside, that water comes down through the dirt and it enters into this drain tile, which has slots in here where water gets dispensed into there and conducted over here to this pit. And the sump pump is in the pit, and when the water level rises, there's a float, a switch in here that senses that, pumps out the liquid until it comes down, and then the float shuts the pump off. This float is nothing more than just a switch. If you have an active system, it's probably wise that you checked out your pump and look in here periodically. What we mean by an active system, you would know if your pump runs a lot, and some people, they may have that, and some people may not. And what, what good thing is to do before a storm is to come down here if you know it's going to rain the night before and just check underneath this pit and make sure that that water level is not too high and that the pump looks like it's been running well. Okay, and so when you say to the homeowner to check it periodically, is that what they need to do is reach in there and raise up the float? If you would like to, if you feel that you're ambitious enough to maybe get your hand wet, that's great. If not, you could just pour some water in there, I guess, and see that the pump turns on and runs it on and turns off. So Luke, in some homes, I've seen a battery backup. In other words, they had two pumps there. Is that a good idea for homeowners? Yeah. Good question, yes. We get that periodically from someone that has a concern. They have a pump that runs a lot, and a good measure would be to look into getting a battery backup system. Well, if you think about it, when are there heavy rains? It's during heavy storms, and heavy storms tend to knock out power. power right. So if you don't have a battery backup, you run the risk of having a flooded basement, right? Yep, and with having that, the homeowner can have their two pumps really taking care of the whole deal with one on electricity, one on battery. You can go to bed that night sleeping if there's a big storm knowing that, hey, everything will be all right. For your next plumbing repair, visit madisonareaplumbers.com. Professionally trained by Plumbers Local 75.